One of the best things about spring turkey season is when you kill a turkey, breasting out and having either strips or nuggets, but fried turkey breast fresh in camp is one of the best things. So I'm gonna go over how the quickest and easiest way, in my opinion, to breast out a turkey. So where you wanna start is at the beard. So you wanna get right in there behind the beard. You're obviously, you know, most people are gonna wanna keep the beard as a, as a trophy. So you can take your knife and get, kind of feel with your fingers and get completely behind behind that beard where it attaches in the skin there and just cut the beard off. So there's your beard and you can clean that up and then you know amount it however you want it. All right, you'll start from the hole that you made when you cut the beard off and you can just start pulling it skin back away from all the way down his breast bone and away from the breast. And then you don't have to go through the task of pulling all his feathers off. Right, so one tip is once you've gotten it pulled and it exposed the breast meat and you want to start filleting that breast meat out, if you'll cut a little bit further down you can actually kind of break those back leg joints and it'll open him up wider and it'll make it a little bit easier for you when you start cutting it on the breast meat to keep from getting feathers everywhere. To do what we're gonna do, essentially, you're just gonna fillet the breast meat off of the breast bone. It runs right through there so you can kind of find it with your finger. I always kind of start in the middle and work all the way down this way. And just kind of go slow so you get as much meat as you can. And then I start working up the breast bone this way. And when you get up to the front, you're gonna kind of come in a little bit because the bone actually stops right there. and you'll just follow that line. And it'll come down and all the way around and you'll just fillet them right off of that bone. get down here, one of the easiest ways to do it, instead of trying to get around all this, you can cut that back a little bit, but if you get back here and start peeling from this, you can, you'll can you peel right along that back side and it's just a little bit easier to follow because you don't have all those organs and stuff up front that you have to worry about cutting into. So just peel from the back side forward. to there, trim that fat off. You got a whole breast. And then you're just gonna go and do the same thing on the other side. And after that, you can get in here and cut those drums out if you want those. Most people are gonna to wanna to cut the legs off. The spurs are kind of a trophy. And if you bend his leg right there, those bones are all attached by tendons. And if you cut in there just right, you can separate the whole thing without having to break any bone.
The next part of the turkey that's got meat that you, enough meat that you're gonna wanna eat is the drumsticks. So you're gonna have to take your knife and kinda skin right down and peel that hide back. that peel back you can kind of pull down I'm just gonna get in there as tight as you can cut as much of that thigh you want to get as much of that thigh meat as you can with your drum and you're gonna cut right in there till you find the ball joint you see the ball joints right in there you just separate it and cut around and it'll come right off The next thing everybody wants off of a turkey is his tail fan. So all of his tail feathers, so that's the pretty part of a turkey, right? All of his tail feathers come together right inside there in one joint. They all come into one joint. So you gotta kinda get in there and find that joint. And you wanna keep some of these secondary feathers just cause it makes a pretty fan mount. So when you find that joint, you can get your fingers in and you can actually actually get around it like that. You're just gonna cut right around the bottom of it. And there's no bone in that joint. So you can just cut it right off of there. clean up some of those secondary feathers and get it pretty for your fan mount.